Hello, my lovelies. We are on the final stretch of the circle here. I just uh, need to right quick set it, set myself a timer so I know how long I'm taking. <sighs> so you saw the fade. We finished with the fade. It's time to almost get to that final stretch and see what the heck is the source of all this. Oh no, my inventory's full. <laughs> no. All right, is that something I want? Yeah, I do want that thing. So I'm going to have to destroy something in here. I'm going to destroy that so that I can pick that up. And this is what happens when you don't clear out your inventory often enough. So yeah, do I want that? I don't really want that so bad. Besides, I can always pick it up later. <clears throat> yes, indeed. We are going to see the source of the evil. And also, I've adjusted the vocals so that you can hear people talk better. Because I noticed in the most recent videos that you couldn't hear the uh, the player, the characters that I was talking to. You couldn't hear their dialogue that well. So I've turned that way up. The problem is that does also affect the fights. Because, like, the animals that attack you have growls or whatever. And, and those can be really loud because the audio is really loud. It's annoying. I can't really figure out a way to make it work both ways. So probably I'll just have to not talk during fights, I guess. <laughs> I can talk when I have it paused, but otherwise, no. Yeah, I've tried all sorts of different ways, but the set the audio settings of this game are oh, forgot I still can't pick stuff up I have to wait pick that stuff up later I guess the audio settings of this game are, are not particularly sophisticated I think I'll be able to do a better job on Dragon Age 2 and 3 but for right now I just have to sort of deal with it here we got some more abominations <laughs> Yep, I can't pick that up. The only reason I keep checking is some stuff stacks, and it might be something that stacks is my it's my justification for that. Nope, I don't have the skill to pick that lock. Oh, did you notice that I gave Liliana a new bow because she leveled them up for it? Very pretty little, very pretty little bow she got there. But that's not her final form. She's gonna get a better bow later. No, that's mace. I still can't pick it up. Still can't pick up that mace. You still got no room. And what see. now? See how annoyed she is. Goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, still can't pick that stuff up. That looks like a pretty good dagger, though. I kind of want to destroy something to put in its place. Just in case I forget to come back here. Okay, so beyond this door is going to be a familiar face. Oh, nope. <laughs> I spoke too soon. We're not there. We're not there yet. We're almost there. I should have I should have known by the fact that it didn't do an auto save. You know, since I have resigned myself to the fact that 
you guys are not going to be able to hear me during fights. I think I'm just going to max out dialogue volume. I just, that's the most important part and I don't ever want to miss it. So there we go. Most important part to me anyway. Nope, she can't unlock that. This is the door. Okay, behind it is someone we know. Curious. This trick again? I know what you are. It won't work. I will stay strong. Poor, poor Cullen. Cullen, don't you recognize me? Only too well. Ugh, how far they must have delved into my thoughts. The boy is exhausted. And this cage, uh, I've never seen anything like it. Rest easy. Help is here. Ugh, enough visions. If anything in you is human, ugh, kill me now and stop this game. He's delirious. He's been tortured and has probably been denied food and water. I can tell. Here. I have a skin of... Don't touch me. Stay away. Sifting through my thoughts. Tempting me with the one thing I always wanted but could never have. Using my shame against me. My ill-advised infatuation with her. Oof. A mage of all things. I am so tired of these cruel jokes. These tricks. These... <laughs> Awkward. Hmm. Do I tell him that he's embarrassing me? <laughs> How about this? Uh, I don't think I should be hearing this. Silence! I'll not listen to anything you say. Now be gone! Still here. But that's always worked before. I close my eyes, but you are still here when I open them. I'm real, and I'm here to help you. Don't blame me for being cautious. The voices, the... The image is so real. Why have you returned to the tower? How did you survive? I defeated everything in my way. Now it's Eldred's turn. Good. Kill Aldred. Kill them all for what they've done. They caged us like animals. Looked for ways to break us. I'm the only one left. Be proud. You mastered yourself. Be proud? What is there to be proud of? That I lived and they died? They turned some into monsters and... Oh, there was nothing I could do. You must stay strong. And to think, I once thought we were too hard on you. We're not all evil, Cullen. Only mages have that much power at their fingertips. Only mages are so susceptible to the infernal whisperings of the demons. This is a discussion for another time. Irving and the other mages who fought Aldred, where are they? They are in the harrowing chamber. The sound's coming up from there. Oh, Maker. We must hurry. They are in grave danger, I am sure of it. You can't save them. You don't know what they've become. And you do? They've been surrounded by, by blood mages whose wicked fingers snake into your mind and corrupt your thoughts. You have to end it now, before it's too late. I will not kill an innocent. Are you really saving anyone by taking this risk? To ensure this horror is ended. To guarantee that no abominations or blood majors live. You must kill everyone up there. I cannot decide on that before seeing what's going on. That is your choice to make, but I beg you to consider what I have to say. You cannot tell Maleficarum by sight. Just one could influence the mind of a king, of a grand cleric. I've made my decision. Make her turn his gaze on you. I hope your compassion hasn't doomed us all. So, uh, well, we're going to talk about Cullen a little more in, in a minute. I want to get this final batter, battle done. Do you accept the gift that I offer?
Ah, look what we have here. I remember you, Irving Star Pupil. Aldrich didn't think much of you then, and I certainly don't see your appeal now. So yes, he's speaking of himself in the third person. He's not really Aldred anymore. He's uh, either possessed by a demon or really the demon has the control here. One thing I was wondering though, is if the failure at Ostagar is what spurred him on to think, okay, I, I need to take some power here because if, if only, if only they had trusted me at Ostagar, then maybe that battle might not have been lost. I wonder if that is, is like part of what spurred him on. Uh, but anyway, what do we got here? Um, I think I'll just kill you if that's all right with you. Fight if you must. It will just make my victory all the sweeter. Don't forget the litany. It will thwart Aldred's attempts to control the mages and win this fight for us. <laughs> it's possible to have a longer conversation with Aldred, but... It's really, there's not much to it, so <laughs> I guess it's just as well that I went straight for the fight. And wouldn't you know it, he's got a pride demon. Okay, so you see he's trying to control one of the mages. I can fix that with the litany of Adrala, which I picked up, so let's use it. Use it now. I will also add there's an irritating aspect to this fight, which is I can use the uh, the litany of Adrala perfectly every time so that these guys do not turn into abominations, but they'll still all die at the end of this fight. <laughs> And you know how I like to save the little guys, but I'm not able to do it in this fight. I just can keep, I can keep them from becoming my enemies. I shall do it. It shall be done. Forced our hand. Very well. Aldred's trying something. I never liked this part. All right, let's. I shall do it. As you say. He's doing something. Okay, he did it again immediately, and I can't use the Litany of Adrala again so fast, but I can give it to Win and make her use it. I think it's not really supposed to happen this way. He's not supposed to instantly be able to switch and do another person, but it might happen in this fight because I kill him so fast. <laughs> uh, ages. Come. Uh, Let us end uh, this. Uh, Can I do a heal? Yes, she can do a heal. I am armed. It shall be done. Ah, I missed one. Damn. Very well. As you say. I shall do it. As you say. You forced our hands very well. Very well. They just die. What is that? I'm surprised I can pick up so much stuff. I kind of do want those gauntlets, so I'm going to destroy something to take them. I might even want to wear those gauntlets. Let me have a look. Yeah, they're better than what I had. All right, let's talk with our good friend, the First Enchanter. Uh, Maker, I'm too old for this. Irving, are you all right? I've been better. 
But I am thankful to be alive. I suppose that is your doing, isn't it, Wynne? I wasn't alone. I had help. I was surprised to see you standing there. But I am glad you have returned. The Circle owes both of you a debt we will never be able to repay. Come. The Templars await. We shall let them know that the Tower is once again ours. Very well, lead on. I'll need you to guide me down the stairs. Ugh, curse whoever insisted the Circle be housed in a tower. Irving? Make us breath. I did not expect to see you alive. It is over, Gregor. Aldred is dead. Aldred tortured these mages, hoping to break their wills and turn them into abominations. We don't know how many of them have turned. What? Don't be ridiculous. Of course he'll say that. He might be a blood mage. Don't you know what they did? I won't let this happen again. I am the Knight Commander here, not you. I believe order has been restored to the Circle. We will rebuild. The Circle will go on, and we will learn from this tragedy, and be strengthened by it. We have won back the Tower. I will accept Irving's assurance that all is well. But they may have demons within them, lying dormant, lying in wait. Enough. I have already made my decision. Thank you. You have proven yourself a friend of both the Circle and the Templars. And what about the Dark Spawn? I require aid. I promised you aid, but with the Circle restored, my duty is to watch the mages. They are free to help you, however. Speak to them. You mean the First Enchanter? Yes, Irving. For now, I will have to oversee a sweep of the tower. There may be some survivors, and we should do our best to tend to them. Please excuse me. And Irving, it is good to have you back. Ah, I'm sure we'll be at each other's throats again in no time. All right, I'm just gonna, well, I'm re really over my time. So I'll go ahead and close it here and we will continue next time. Uh, and I will explain my thoughts on Cullen. Bye-bye. <laughs>